NASA sent the Voyager 1 spacecraft into the solar system 45 years ago. Even though the spaceship was only made to last for five years, it's still going through parts of the universe that have never been seen before. But now, this famous spacecraft is sending NASA some strange information. And many of the top scientists at the space agency don't know what to make of it. Today, we'll look at some of the strange information that the Voyager 1 spacecraft is sending us. But before we start our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Let's begin. In August of 1977, NASA sent the Voyager 2 spacecraft to Jupiter and Saturn before sending it on to Uranus and Neptune. This was the start of the Voyager program. A few days after Voyager 2 was sent into space, its twin, Voyager 1, was also sent into space. Both spaceships were almost the same. They weighed about as much as a small car, and launching them at the right time was the most important part of the whole mission. NASA saw a unique window of opportunity in 1977 when the planets of interest were perfectly lined up so that exploration could be done quickly and easily. During this time, each spaceship could go from one planet to the next without having to change its path too much. But NASA put a 16-day gap between the two so that their paths would be a little different. Because of this, the Voyager 1 flew past its older sibling in December 1977, just a few months after it was launched. Since then, Voyager 1 has been one of NASA's most valuable tools for finding new and exciting things in space. In 1978, when it was about 265 million kilometers from Earth, Voyager 1 started sending pictures of Jupiter back to us. A year later, the spacecraft spent more than 100 hours taking almost 4,000 pictures of Jupiter. This gave us the first ever time lapse of the gas giant's rotation. After that, it was the first spacecraft to find Jupiter's ring and two new moons a month later. It would have to slightly change its path to avoid hitting Titan, one of Saturn's biggest moons, on its way to Saturn. During its trip around Saturn, Voyager 1 found four moons and sent back many pictures of the planet with rings to NASA. After this, NASA decided that the Voyager 1 mission should be over. And while the Voyager 2 kept racing to Uranus and Neptune, becoming the first spacecraft to do so, the Voyager 1 started its journey to reach the edge of our solar system. The official start of the Voyager interstellar mission was in 1990. At about 6 billion kilometers from the Sun, Voyager 1 took the first family photo of the solar system. At this point, more than 67,000 pictures had been taken by the spacecraft, and that was the end of NASA's need for its cameras. In order to save power, NASA turned off the cameras on the Voyager 1 after this. In 1998, when it was 10.3 billion kilometers from the Sun, the spacecraft went by the 1972 launched Pioneer 10 spacecraft. The Pioneer before that, the Pioneer 10, was the farthest thing made by humans from Earth. But the Voyager 1 was now the ship with that name. As it moved toward interstellar space, it kept making its lead bigger and bigger. Even though the spacecraft's cameras were turned off at this point, NASA still had many ways to talk to it. In 2012, Voyager 1 left the solar system and went into space between the stars. Even though NASA hadn't made the news public until 2013, the planet was already moving away from the sun at 61,197 kilometers per hour. The Voyager 2, which was like it, hadn't left the solar system until 2018. By that year, Voyager 1 was about 14.5 billion kilometers from the sun. It kept sending signals back to NASA that told us more and more about what's inside and outside of our solar system. Voyager 1, on the other hand, has lost some of its coordination and is now sending NASA some strange signals. Even some of the best scientists in the world can't figure out how to read most of these signals. And it looks like the spaceship doesn't even know where it is. If the spacecraft ever gets lost in space, it's been programmed to send a special alarm to NASA, and it can still do that. But that alarm hasn't been set off yet, even though the lights are confusing. On top of that, Voyager 1's antenna seems to be in bad shape, but it still keeps in regular contact with NASA. But NASA isn't as sure about the reports that the antenna is sending as it once was. But Voyager 1 can still get orders from Earth and carry them out in interstellar space, for now. 
When you think that the spacecraft was made in the 1970s, you can see how far NASA's technology has always gone. Even with all of that, NASA thinks that the signals Voyager 1 is sending aren't a true picture of what's going on on the spacecraft. So, you might wonder, what's really going on on board? Well, all of NASA's spacecraft have a gold-plated disc that was made just for them. This disc has special audio and video messages on it in case it ever contacts a being from another planet. Some of the things on the disc are more than 35 sounds that are only found on Earth and pictures of everyday life on our planet. But as of 2022, NASA scientists no longer believe that aliens could be in charge of the spacecraft. Voyager 1 has a lot of safety features that would be turned on if the spaceship was ever in danger. But none of these plans have ever been put into action. Also, Voyager 1's antenna still points toward Earth. But the fact that everything is fine makes the strange signals that the Voyager 1 is sending even stranger. Even when it was in the same condition, it's never sent these unreadable signals before. So, why is the spaceship sending these signals now when it's so far from Earth? It's clear that something is going on. But NASA's Voyager mission project manager says that this is pretty normal for a spacecraft as old as Voyager 1. It's been in space for more than 45 years, and it's now a record 23.6 billion kilometers, or 157.9 astronomical units, away from the Sun. The less reliable our communication with the spacecraft will be, the faster the spacecraft goes. To make matters worse, the Voyager 1 can't be fixed reliably if something goes wrong. NASA can't make a spaceship that can go to the same place as Voyager 1 and do a rescue mission in time because it can't travel into interstellar space. It's impossible from a physical and a practical standpoint. Also, two-way communication is much slower now than it used to be. On average, it takes two days for a message to get from NASA's communication station to a spacecraft. This means that the chance of accidents and collisions has gone up by a lot, and NASA's team might not be able to talk to each other well in an emergency. NASA is still hopeful that it will be able to fix the problems that the Voyager 1 has been having. It thinks that the spacecraft will keep sending back more and more information about space between the stars. Because the spacecraft is so far away from Earth, any kind of communication is slow and unreliable, even if it could be very useful for NASA. At the moment, NASA is using the spacecraft to see how far its past and present spacecraft can go. This information will be very important for every space mission the space agency does in the future. But there will come a time when Voyager 1 won't be able to talk to us on Earth anymore. And as each day goes by, the chance that something will go wrong and end the mission quickly grows. So far, it's been able to last longer than the things around it. So, that's it for today. Was the video helpful? Share your views in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching.